Why are you recording? I don't know. How's it going everyone? Hello from beautiful Kelowna, British Columbia. It is a beautiful day out here. I don't know if you guys can see. I think winter is finally at its end. My client Eduardo is currently nine weeks out from the Washington State Natural. And he's gonna get his body fat measured today. So today I wanna take you guys with me and explain the science behind measuring body fat. But first, I'm gonna have my post-workout protein smoothie. Protein sources from the smoothie is protein powder, egg white, and Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna have this to smash the anabolic window. It's delicious, I might add. And we're gonna head over and get Eddie's body fat percentage measured. Yo, Eddie. Yeah. What is your guess, if you had to guess? 11. 11%? Yeah, that's what I just vlogged. My guess would be 11%, I feel. But we'll see when we get there. He's looking hella lean. I'm stoked for Damn! It is actually such a beautiful day outside today. I had to show out Danny Gets Fit. He showed Eduardo and I these watermelon rock stars. So they're zero calories. Oh shit, so this one's not zero <laughs> calories. <laughs> there are zero calorie options, but these are the white monster takeovers. So if you guys have these in your area, you should try them out, so good. Damn, these are good. White monsters are, are on. Rockstar is a new thing. Damn! Fuck! It's built it on me, man. Spin away. So there's no. All right. So we decided to get it checked at Steve Nash Fitness World. So we'll see what they say about the filming. I'll try and get some footage for you guys. But yeah, we'll see. Hello, everyone. I'm back with another commentary explaining a bioelectrical impedance analysis and measuring body composition. Devices that perform bioelectrical impedance analysis are very common. Today, even many household weight scales have it built in. Devices are also commonly found in professional health centers and even local gyms like the one we are here. They are low cost and a convenient way to measure body composition. I'll start off by saying that BIA is not a gold standard of measuring body composition. But the question is, is it still a good method of measurement? So how does it work? An electrical current is taken through the body. In the machine, in the example Eddie is using here, the current will run through Eddie's arms, torso, and legs, compared to just the legs in a common body weight scale. An electrical current will take the shortest path of a circuit, so if you use a scale, the measurement will only go through leg to leg. Since electricity will travel at different speeds depending on the conductor, body composition can be calculated with this information. In our case, the current will run through fluid compartments of lean tissue which are over 70% water. As we know, water is a good conductor on electricity, so blow drying your hair may not be the smartest thing to do while taking a bath. Where fat has low water fluid levels, the current will travel slower. So with the current technology, this information can be translated into body composition. There are external factors that could alter the results. In 2008, Merchant Natal did a review that found fluid and consumption and its timing affected up to 9.9%. It was also found that fat distribution and ethnicity had variations up to 5.7%. This does make sense where personally prepping for the muscle mayhem, it took my legs longer than my upper body to lean out. So measuring leg to leg versus arm to arm would be significantly different. Other factors that we found to alter the results were previous activity levels two to three hours prior, medical conditions involving fluid imbalances, ambient temperature and proportion limb length. So is this a good method of measurement? It was found that BIA is useful for clinical studies and in my opinion a quick convenient way of measurement. My suggestion would be to keep things consistent before taking a measurement. 
I would perform the analysis in the morning after a night of fasting upon awakening. There will be a percentage of error between different people, but it can be a good measurement tool when comparing it to previous measurements. Overall, it is a good measurement to track your own progress, but not the best for calculating exact body composition. All right, guys, we are pretty close. 10.6% with the electrical impedance measurement. The trainer there that allowed us to get the body fat percentage done said at the college here they do have a DEXA scanner. So I am curious if we could reach out to the school and see if they'll let us get our body fat percentage done there. If you guys enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a like as it does help out a lot and subscribe if you haven't already. All right guys, earlier after the workout, Danny gets fit and Eduardo and I, we all went to walk box. There are some macro friendly meals there. And I forgot my jacket there. So we're gonna head over and grab my jacket. The one that my beautiful girlfriend bought me that I didn't lose cause I called and it's there. And then I think we have to get some gains in. So what are you thinking? Some Swiss Chalet. Man, Swiss Chalet though. First, gotta grab the jacket. All right guys, they hit it. I think it's time to get some gains in now. This, this is a homage beat. Full obsession. All right guys, so I just want to talk to you about something really quick. We are eating out over here at the chalet, but just because you are eating out doesn't mean you have to get dirty or high calorie choices. There are healthy choices usually when you get takeout, so you can go check out the nutrition menu to see what is in the food. You don't have to totally binge. You'll make better choices because all those little choices do add up over the week and over the long term. Let's see what they got. Eddie, how many weeks out are you? Nine. Nine weeks? Nine weeks. What are you thinking on getting? I'm gonna grab the lighter take quarter chicken. So basically, I looked up online. It has 11 grams of carbs, it has six fat, and it has 48 protein, which is absolutely insane. So we're getting two bucks. So there are healthier choices that you can get. An example of what Eddie just explained here. Um, he is prepping approximately nine weeks out. Um, I don't recommend everyone to be that strict with their uh, food tracking because it might not be sustainable for your lifestyle, but every little choice you make does make a difference. So I ended up getting the chicken on a Kaiser with white meat, gravy, and mashed potatoes. And I got chalet sauce on the side. All right, major key guys, I have that mayo on the bread. You do the dip. Dip it in. That's how it's done. It's hilarious, Eddie and I were just talking about the meal and how macro friendly his meal was. And you can either go to Swiss Chalet and get the meal Eddie just got, or you could eat a rice cake and a protein shake. So the macros are approximately the same, and it's just whatever choice you want to make. Um, obviously, I suggest that you get whole foods. Um, the vegetables do provide micronutrients, but to each their own, whatever you want to do, the macros are still approximately the same. So I enjoyed this meal here, and I'll be going back to my place to actually edit this video. I'm gonna end the video here. All you guys have been supporting me a lot lately, and I appreciate, appreciate all of it. So if you guys like the video, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll be talking to you guys soon.